So, um, I was looking on some old pictures, uh, you know, photographs the other day and thought maybe a few of them could, uh, you know, could uh, be good for showing you guys. Uh, it's mostly some guitars that I had back in the days, some few pictures uh, of me with a guitar or so. Um, the picture is, is probably about 20 years old now. It was when I first started to get into electric guitars and uh, you know starting to explore the how they were built and so on. I think actually there is a picture of my very first um, guitar that I built. I think it was back in the mid 90s or so. So, yeah, I thought we, I thought I make a little video about this. So let's go ahead and take a look on the pictures. Uh, this is actually me. This is a little bit longer than 20 years ago. I think I was maybe about 13 or 14 years old there. Uh, it's during the Christmas time, you can see the red candles there and some red flower thing going on there on the tablet, yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, I was playing guitar back then. Uh, th this is the time where I learned, you know, was getting into hard rock, I started to grow my hair there. So... This is this is um, a great picture, I think. I think I was 13 or 14, yeah. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then we have a picture, I think, from the mid 90s. Uh, this is a couple of years later. Started to grow a little mustache there as well. Uh, this is actually the guitar I'm holding here. Is actually a very good guitar. Uh, it's a Yamaha, uh, I think it's called S120D, I'm not really sure, but I think so. It's a Telecaster model, and you know, it's a, I like this guitar very much. I think I bought it uh, maybe back in 1995 or so. Uh, the other guitar here is a Yamaha as well. Um, RGX 612S, I think, yeah, with a um, Floyd type of bridge going on there. Uh, I had, I think I had EMG pickups in it, I'm not really sure, but I think so. Uh, so, that's kind of cool, um, you know, back in the mid 90s, big, big, big speakers, yeah. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, this is this picture I haven't been looking I haven't been looking at this picture for many many years so it's kind of interesting yeah uh, this is probably also during the same period of time there I think this could be 1996 or 1997 I was very thin back then, uh, so you can see a big difference there. This is actually one of the first more expensive guitars that I bought. I, I bought this guitar, I think back in 1994, or maybe, yeah, I think 1994. Uh, it's a Ibanez uh, RG550, yeah. Um, those came out I think back in 1990 or so uh, it was a very expensive guitar so uh, I think maybe about uh, let's see uh, 1500 bucks or 1600 bucks or so I remember that the year year after I bought this guitar the price dropped like 50% or so uh, no, 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 not 50%, I think 20%, yeah, and the following years they dropped even more, so 
but it, it was a great guitar, a very thin neck. Um, I'm sure you guys know what this guitar is about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about it. The picture uh, shows that the guitar is a little bit faded and that's not really the case. I don't know why the picture... I don't know why the color just faded away there. I don't know why, but... This was a very very nice guitar. You can see some of my cell phone collection right there. Uh, I didn't have a lot of cell phones back then, but I think maybe 10 or 15 or so. Uh, this uh, picture is from, I believe, 1997. Um, this is uh, me playing an acoustic guitar. I actually think this is a... Um, no, it's not a Yamaha, it's a... Um, I can't remember the name. It was a very great guitar. A good friend of mine has this, this guitar now. Uh, so the guitar is still alive. That's very cool. Uh, back here you can see my Yamaha. Um, but also... Uh, this is a Court. Uh, XL series, I believe it was. I can't really remember. But I think it's a Court... Uh, no, 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 that's not a court. That's a Area Pro XL, I think. Yeah, Area Pro XL. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a Hard Rock Axe, uh, the same as this one. I, they are made, I believe, in the late 80s, both of them. Yeah, that's kind of cool. This is me with a braided hair there, uh, just for fun. Uh, with my Ibanez, as we saw in the previous picture, well, uh, some pictures ago. Uh, this is my amplifier I had back then. It's a, a Laney uh, Tube Fusion. I think it's a 700 TF, I believe. Oh, I can't really remember, but I think that's a correct uh, model there. Uh, Laney TF700 Tube Fusion, I think that's the... It had uh, tubes in the, you know, before the, the amplifier itself. So, <clears throat> that's my little pedal board. I think that's uh, a, a Boss ME... Uh, ME80? Could it be 80? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this pedal board was actually very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, this is... Uh, I had black hair. Uh, I think I colored it because I was going uh, on stage to do some live gigs and I thought it would be cool with black hair. Yeah. <laughs> Craziness. Uh, this is me with... Uh, I believe that's a Gibson Les Paul. I had a few of those back in the days. Um... I had a white one and I had a black one as well. And that's one of my earlier strats back there as well. Uh, this picture is actually a bit, little bit newer, I think, back in 1999 or maybe 2000 or so. Um, I cut my hair a little bit there as well. But this was a very great guitar, yeah, I miss that guitar very much. This is me again, uh, goofing around. Uh, this is actually a closer picture on the the area. Um, this was a cold guitar. Uh, yeah, actually, can see a little bit of the area there. Yeah, Area Pro uh, XL. I think you, if you guys out there know what this, if I'm right there, but I think that's a Area Pro XL series. Yeah, I really think so. I didn't have a, a Wami bar uh, for right-handed, so I mounted um, a left-handed um, Wami bar. <laughs> I remember a little bit hard to to use uh, um, a left-handed Wami bar. So, but the Flo Royce was actually very very good on this guitar. I remember that, and the pickups were, I believe. Select pickups uh, made by EMG, yeah, actually. So 
this picture is taken just the day before um, a live gig I had back then so I think I was a little bit nervous now we are looking uh, mid 90s again uh, this is not an ovation this is a um, applause I think it was applause applause uh, I can't pronounce that applause yeah um, a perfect um, clone of an uh, ovation yeah very good guitar and a good friend of mine actually has this guitar right now I saw this maybe 20 years ago or so and he still have it so that's kind of cool that's a guitar I bought from my my little brother uh, this is an Ibanez I believe it's a <coughs> EX series yeah um, I mounted a Floyd Rose bridge on this guitar and a locking nut there uh, this was also actually a very good guitar yeah also I saw this guitar maybe a year later or so um, I don't know why I did that but so I did yeah uh, this is a closer look oh yeah here we can definitely tell uh, yeah Aria Pro 2 XL series yeah that's what it is and that's a uh, Yamaha R uh, I can't see but yeah those hard rock axes uh, very cool guitars actually this was a very expensive guitar when it first came out I think I had this for four or five years or so uh, I don't know the price of it but I think it was like eight nine hundred bucks or so um, very great guitar uh, this guitar also I think the new price this wasn't too expensive though I think maybe um, I'm not really sure but maybe like 399 499 or so I can't really remember but it wasn't very expensive so yeah there you go that's some of my old pictures I hope you enjoyed share uh, looking at the pictures uh, I share um, I still have some more pictures but I thought I make another video for that I think this is probably the oldest picture uh, this must be in the late 80s I believe perhaps 1990 or so um, you can see on the interior that it looks very 80s uh, this is the time when I when I was starting to learn the Metallica songs I actually had an electric guitar as well Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it, but yeah, uh, there you go, that's it, bye.